Good morning, everyone. This is like, this is the third take for this vlog because I keep fidgeting too much. But anyway, today I want to talk about assertiveness and uh, how um, I've, I've had some, I guess I'm going to trouble recently and it's all because um, I just wasn't assertive enough. So I have, I was having an issue, I was having an issue with a neighbor, and he, so my living situation, this is a boarding house, um, fidgeting again. I really need to learn how to knit or crochet or something. I need something to do with my hands. But anyway, this is a boarding house. You you rent your room and you share the kitchen and the bathroom with and the living room with everybody else. So um, when I first moved in here, I was here cleaning the carpet, and uh, the downstairs neighbor comes up and asks me what I'm doing there, and I was just like, I, I live here. And he, he, he explained that people do squat in here. And there had been people squatting in this room before I moved in. So I was like, okay, well, I live here now. So nobody's going to be squatting up here. It's, um, and he wound up making friends kind of, but he was trying to take on this weird uh, mentor role. And I really should have... Um, been more assertive when he starts asking invasive questions like are you de are you depressed are you eating are you able to pay your rent what are you eating um i really should have said something instead of humoring this i should have said something like well um that's really none of your business or i, I don't know i had thought of another phrase to say but or, you know, I don't really want to discuss that with you because he's, it's, it's, it's really starting to creep me out. Uh, the way he's talking to me, like, like I'm a child, um, or somebody who he just has no ability to take care of themselves at all. Um, I, I don't need advice on what to eat or, I don't know. It all just started getting really insulting. And there was the thing with, the security here it's really bad uh, there was a, a guy downstairs and he was into something hardcore I think I think it was meth or crack but I don't know something and it definitely wasn't pot and he came downstairs and he was smoking something in the living room and he kind of had this look like I had seen him doing something he really didn't want me to see him do and uh, I, I couldn't smell it um, so you know, crack smells very strong, and so does pot, so I'm thinking it was something else. But he gave keys to his friends. So, um, there are these people that have keys, and they will come in, they nobody lives downstairs anymore. The first floor, nobody lives there anymore, so it's pretty easy to go unnoticed. If you have a key or if the door is left unlocked, to just go downstairs to the basement and party down there because no one... I mean, I wouldn't know. Uh, I've come home and, and thought that, like, hey, there's people hanging out in the basement, but I'm not going to go confront them. Um, that doesn't seem very safe. Um, but, uh, anyway, the downstairs neighbor kept getting, you know, every time I saw him, make sure you're locking the doors, make sure you're locking the doors. And it started getting just really, like, why, like, are you getting on my case about this? Because every morning I go downstairs to check on my plants and I make sure the doors are locked. And every morning they are unlocked and they're always unlocked when I was coming home from work. So, I don't know who's leaving the house unsecure, insecure, but it's not me. Because um, I've understood from the beginning that people will squat in here. 
but um, he came up and I was trying to sleep. I had just gotten off of work. That job was super exhausting. And, uh, you know, I answered the door and I was like, hey, I'm, I, I'm going to bed. I can't talk. And uh, I can't remember what he was saying, but he kind of kept talking. And no, he asked me, are you depressed? And I was like, no, I'm tired. And he was like, okay, well, the doors, he started to say something about the doors. And I was like, hey, I can't control what everybody else does, you know, and I'm sleep. I'm, I am trying to sleep right now. And it, I was very irritated. Um, and, uh, you know, he walked away and mumbled something about me having serious problems. So the next time he came over, it was a good time. It was, I was just like, yeah, okay, I'm just hanging out if you want. We can talk or whatever and he asked are you done being rude to me now and that pissed me off that pissed me off a lot because I really don't think I was the one who was being rude but first of all it's it's a little bit rude to show up uninvited and unannounced uh it's it's rude to keep talking when someone says they're trying to sleep it, it's it's kind of creepy to pry into somebody's life and try to be their dad or mentor or something um, but that, that really pissed me off. I was just like, hey, you, I was sleeping and you woke me up. And she's like, well, I didn't know. I was like, yeah, but I was sleeping. You, you can't, <laughs> how dare I be irritated when I, when I say I'm sleeping right now, I try to make a boundary and you just like roll right over it. Um, and it happened and I, and I just kind of, like, gave him the hint that I needed him to leave. I was like, yeah, I've got a lot of housework to do around here. Like, I really need to clean up in here. It's gotten really bad. I need to clean in here. Um, so, the next time it was the same story again. I was trying to sleep. And, and I said, look, I'm going to sleep right now. And he was like, you're always sleeping. I was like, well, I'm trying to go to sleep right now. Because I don't have a job and I go to sleep where I, whenever I want. I started going to bed very early. It's like without a schedule, I, I just go with the sun. I, I don't know. I've been wanting to go to bed at like 8 or 9 o'clock when the sun goes down. And I've been getting up at like 6. Um, but uh, anyway. And then he... Oh, this made me mad because he knew he knows that I don't have an income right now. Um, and he asked for, uh, a bud, and I was just like, and I need to stop doing this too, just don't give people what they want, just so they'll go away, because they'll come back, but, um, so I went and I got my, my jar, and I was just like, now can I go to sleep? If I give you this, now can I go to sleep? And he was just like, okay, well, I see the door is locked. That's good. And I was like, can you stop getting on my case about the doors? Stop it. Can you just stop? And he was like, I'm not getting on your case. I'm just giving you information. People have been coming in here. And I was like, I know. I know they're coming in here. And I know they have keys. Like, and I know the landlord won't change the locks. Like, what the fuck? I, I was really mad at this point. Like, and so he walked away and he hasn't come back up here. So, that could have been handled better. I really should have told him all that stuff was none of his business in the first place. So, yeah. Just, I need to learn how to say no. And my last job helped a lot because I got hit on. And I used to either lie about having a boyfriend or lie about being married or, um... But I started just saying no. Um, and you know, it's like as I got more assertive, I got hit on less. But it could be that I started wearing this ring every day. Um, thinking like, well, it's, it's sort of looks like it could be an engagement ring. I'll just put it on the, the appropriate finger and, and hope people assume that this means that I'm taken. So I'm not sure which made that 
they go down a little, but I, after I started wearing the ring and saying no, got more assertive. That job is really good at, uh, I really had to learn to be more assertive, like, really quickly, because people will, um, try to get you to bend the rules for them. So, um... You can just say no. You don't have to lie. You don't have to make up an excuse. You don't have to give a reason. Just no. And if somebody's prying into your life, you don't have to answer their questions. Like, so these are things that I need to, I need to learn to do myself and I'm, I'm getting a lot better at it. I do feel slightly bad about getting bitchy with a neighbor I really should have been more assertive in the in the first place, but um, when someone says they're sleeping, come on, he hasn't come up since, so that's that's good. He's been leaving me alone, um, but I don't really think he was trying to take on that role for me because he was concerned about me. I think it more had to do with. Um, him feeling good about himself like him feeling like he was doing good but I wasn't asking for help and I didn't need it so that's it for today I guess the takeaway it's okay to say no and you don't need a reason you don't need an excuse you don't need to make something up just no so that's this is the third take so I'm just putting I'm just putting this up I, I kept fidgeting and um it, it just looked it just looked really bad it's just like nobody's everybody's gonna be wondering what you're playing with off camera instead of listening to what you're saying so that's it for today um i hope everyone has a good day